Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Vaseline to make a great moisturizing hair bottle. So if you're interested, please be sure to keep on watching and I'll suggest you watch till the end of the video so you get to see all of the steps and also instructions on how to use it. Now before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate you guys and if you're new here, please Please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family now let's hop into the video so to begin with we are going to need some coffee so this is ground coffee and it's not decaf now coffee is great for hair growth because it blocks GHT which is a hormone that has been linked to hair loss so it can help in stopping hair loss if used on a regular basis so I use one tablespoon of ground coffee and I'm adding some hot water to this I'm gonna set it aside so that it cools down as I work on the next ingredient so next we're going in here with some ginger ginger also is quite good for hair growth because it helps to soothe um, an itchy or irritated scalp it also helps to moisturize the hair which is super amazing when it comes to minimizing breakage and hair loss in general so i'm cutting the um the ginger without removing the skin and i'm just going to cut it into smaller pieces and set it aside next we're going to go in with one cup Now, carrots help to prevent hair loss by making the roots stronger at the scalp. It can also be used to promote faster hair growth and also thicker hair. So I'm cutting the carrot again without removing the skin just because it's got some great vitamins there too. I'm cutting it into smaller pieces and I'm just going to go ahead and put them together with the ginger. Now once that's all nice and cut and the coffee um, has completely cooled down so we're going to go ahead and put the ginger and carrot into the coffee and then we're going to go ahead and give it a good blend so I will be using a hand blender to do this if you haven't got one guys feel free to put it in your regular blender if you want to doing it this way helps to blend it a little bit easily easily just because of the fact that um it's got a bit of water on it right so it just makes the blending process just that bit easier So next, once it's all blended, we're going to go ahead and strain it. So I'm using a wig cap for this, but feel free to use whatever you have that works. So pour the whole thing on there and just give it a gentle squeeze to remove all of the juice. And here you have it so this is what the juice look like and this could be great as a high growth spray as well um, but we'll be using it in today's video to make a butter so set it aside and then in the next jar or bowl you will be adding some Vaseline so this is your regular Vaseline that you put on your lips or you know it has a lot of uses some people even use it for their skin as well so I'm just taking about a half a tablespoon of Vaseline now you can alter these quantities guys based on your preference I was just looking to make a small amount of this um, but if you're looking to make more please use more Vaseline next I'm going in here with some emulsifying wax so about a handful of it so not a lot but again like I said guys please alter this depending on the quantity of the butter that you're going for now I'm going in also with some coconut oil you can use shea butter instead if that's all that you have available 
um, so this is about I'll say about a tablespoon so again I'm just adding it to the same jar next I'm gonna go ahead and add in the coffee ginger and carrot juice that we made earlier so I will be using 10 tablespoons of the juice for today's recipe and for this quantity of the Vaseline coconut oil and emulsifying wax So here you have it and this is what it looks like so I'm gonna go ahead and do the double boiler method just so I can melt the Vaseline coconut oil and the emulsifying wax so it consists of just placing a pan on a stove adding some water allowing to it to boil a little bit and then you place your jar inside and you need to stir regularly because it makes the melting process a lot quicker so notice here how everything else has melted but the emulsifying wax is taking a little bit of time to melt now the purpose of this wax is to bind the water with the oil so this is what it looks like and see it's completely melted as long as you keep stirring it while it's on the stove guys it will start to thicken up and this is the consistency that I was going for so at this point just take it off the stove and then we're going to go ahead and place it in a bowl of cold water so this is just to allow it to cool down while it's in cold water so while you have it in there make sure that you're stirring occasionally um, until the whole thing completely cools down now as it's starting to cool down this is going to start to thicken up so if you are looking to have a slightly lighter consistency then perhaps don't add as much emulsifying wax or you can actually add more coconut oil or more olive oil perhaps like add olive oil or rapeseed oil like something that's a bit more liquid um if you're looking to have like a less thicker consistency so just like i said earlier the longer you leave it in here when it completely cools down guys it starts to thicken up just like you saw there so take it off the, the cold water and this is the kind of texture that i ended up with and that was just perfect for what i was going for so at this point you can add essential oils if you want to or you know whatever that you have available guys or even preservatives if you're looking to you know keep it for a long time so I'm just transferring it here into a used Vaseline jar that I already had in the house and that's just to make the storing process just a little bit easier. So I'm going to pop that in there and use as in when it's required and this is such a great moisturizer for the hair. So the way that you would use this guys, you would apply this to your hair as you would apply a conditioner. So wet the hair first obviously don't make it too wet perhaps damp and then take a good amount of this massage it in your hands i'm going to show you how easily it melts on the skin so massage it on your on the palm of your hand and then just apply it to your hair you don't necessarily have to follow with an oil but you can do if you want to and then detangle your hair as normal and then twist or style however you want and that's pretty much it it's just really simple and it's very good on the hair as well you can also use it as a people treatment if you want to but again make sure that you've got a bit of water on the hair before putting this on and then go ahead and shampoo your hair afterwards so this brings me to the end of the video i hope that you guys have enjoyed watching if you did please give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already don't forget to share with that friend or family member you believe could benefit from today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching until next time. Bye.